Let's make a proton stream. Gonna drag down a fusion composition. Go into fusion. Start. Gonna drag a background node. Bring that to the viewer. Gonna make it white for now. We're gonna change that later, but for now it's gonna be white. Going to add a polygon mask to that. Connect that up. And we're just gonna add, make a line, just like that. Going to bring up the border width a little bit. So we just have a line like that. Now you could use multiple points and animate them to go up and down, but that's not how I'm gonna make it today. We are going to be making this procedurally. No keyframes, nothing like that. Automatic. Going to add a displace out to the viewer. And this is going to be driven by a fast noise. Add in. I want my type to be XY. Bring the X offset and the Y offset to negative 0.5. I'm going to put equals here. And I'm going to link the X refraction to the Y refraction. So it'll be the same, the whole thing. So if we bring this up, like that, we have the curve more of a proton stream. So we're in a fast noise. We can bring up the seeds rate a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Now the big thing to make this look like it's shooting out of our proton pack gun thingy, what's it called? Is to animate the X. So to keep this procedural, I'm going to put equals and then write an expression. So right before this comma, I'm going to put time um, divided by 20. Take a look at that. That's nice. So it's going to take the time. So this thing, it's 32 and divide that by 20. I'm going to bring up the contrast a little bit. So it's moving up and down a little bit more. One thing I'm noticing is that the beginning of the stream is moving along and that's not going to work if we want to connect this to a gun. So I'm going to add a rectangle to our thing, to our fast noise, soft edge that a lot. And just move that. All right, that's nice. I think I'm going to bring down the scale a little bit so our waves will be bigger. Bring down the brightness. That's going up. A little bit more contrast. There it is, I like that. Now we've got the motion, let's make this look like a proton stream. I'm going to add an X glow. This is a fuse that's free on reactor. So I'm gonna bring that to orange. Maybe a little bit more red. Now in the background, I can also make that orange. That's looking better. I'm going to add a tintensity also available on Reactor. And just going to bring down the gain a little bit and bring up the saturation a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. Now let's make some lightning. Gonna go down a little bit, add a background node, bring the alpha down so it's transparent. And then I'm going to add the POC Blitz. This is a really cool fuse in Reactor that basically makes lightning, which is one of the things that I was struggling to learn how to do in Fusion, and this thing does it for you, so it's awesome. So I'm gonna bring our line to the viewer and take the start and end points. I'll take the start point, put it right here, put it on one end of the thing. And the end point, I'm going to put somewhere in the middle. Take a look at that. In this tab, I'm going to disable the glow because we can add that later. Go to the branching tab. The branch length, link all, drag this over here, and drag this over here. So we don't have any branching. The energy distribution, I'm going to take off the fall off so it's the same width the whole way. Bring up the smoothness, bring up the amplitude turbulence, and bring down the amplitude a little bit. The amplitude determines how crazy the lightning is, so if I bring it up all the way, it's crazy, and if I bring it down all the way, it's or all the way to the other end, it's just line. I'm going to duplicate this. And the nice thing about this is that it changes the seed every time, so we don't have to change anything. We have two totally different lightning things in the same spot. I'm going to duplicate these, bring it down here. This one, I want to put on the other side. So I'm just going to bring that to the other end. 
and then copy that. And if we merge these over each other, you can see we have more complex lightning along this thing. I am going to add one more duplicate. Now this one, I'm going to bring the endpoints to the endpoints of the line. Merge that over. Now we have our lightning for our thing. But if we merge this over right now, it won't follow the motion of our thing because our line is undulating up and down. So what I'm actually going to do is copy this displace, paste it over here, and I'm going to bring our fast noise into that. So now it's following the same path as our line. Now let's make it look pretty. I'm going to add an X glow, bring it to a nice blue color. To intensity, and I'm going to merge this over on screen. This part, you can tweak any settings to get them to blend a little better. <laughs> my blue a little bit darker. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna organize my flow a little bit here. I'm gonna put my lightning in a group, control G. Rename that lightning by pressing F2. It'll just keep things a little bit tidier. What I'm going to do now is, for my glows on both of them, I'm going to add a DVE, copy that, Control shift v to make an instance of that. So anything I do to the top one will happen to the bottom one. I'm going to turn off the glows for a minute just to keep things running smoothly. What I can do with this DVE is bring the pivot over to the start. The DVE is kind of a fake 3D. It lets you rotate things as if it were a 3D card. So it can really get some cool dramatic things because this is looking rather flat. Just play around till you get a cool position you like. I'm liking that. So I'm going to turn my glows back on. I'm coming back and recording this because I forgot to mention the tutorial that you need to add some motion blur. So I'm going to add a directional blur, set the type to zoom, bring the center over to my tip, and just bring out the length. This makes it look like so much better. Finally, I'm going to add a lens flare at the tip of my thing. Now there are several ways you can do this. Under templates, there is a thing called lens flares. There are a bunch of different ones you can try. This one needs a background to feed into it. Ooh, that is a funky flare. <laughs> it is not gonna work for my thing though. So you can look through these, see if anyone fits your need. Some really interesting lens flares in here. I'm not going to use any of these. I am going to use the LF Tools by Milo Labs. This is available on Reactor and it gets really nice control for a really nice looking lens flare. So I'm gonna add the controls, LF, Glow, drag the controls in there. Just gonna play around with the color. Nice red color, I like that. Add a LF, I mean, iris. You can play around with all these settings and maybe a hoop. Oh yeah, that's cool. Drag this into the merge. Have it on screen. Just bring that right over to my thing. Feel free to go through all these settings and tweak anything you like. And that is how to make a Proton Stream in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That'll help YouTube promote it a little bit better. If there's an effect you want me to see cover on this channel, leave it in the comments below. Also, if you like the music in the background of this video, I actually made it. I have another channel where I post music. I will link that in the description below if you're interested in checking that out.